Hey everyone, welcome back into another video. So, Sony and WB uh, Games showed off Hogwarts Legacy in a new 20 minute dedicated state of play. And I gotta say, as you'll see in the footage, this game looks absolutely incredible and hella ambitious. It is a open world action RPG set in the 1800s, so no Harry, po so no Harry, no Ron, you know, or the usual cast, since that's uh, in the 1900s and after that, you know, and after that. So, so this definitely takes place before all that went down, like in the books and the movies. So, so I gotta say though, like I, like I just said, the game looks absolutely incredible. You know, you could customize your own character, which you, apparently you could choose your own house too. So I'm like, ooh. So, ooh, I think I probably have two. I'm probably going to choose between, you know, Gryffindor or Slytherin, but that's a whole different thing. So, as you can see by the platforms, it is coming out for the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 4 Pro, PlayStation 5, PlayStation 5 Digital, you get the idea. Xbox One, Xbox One S, Xbox One X, or whatever. And, and PC, but the big one, as you, but the big surprise that caught me and everyone off guard was a Nintendo Switch, Nintendo Switch version, as you can see on Amazon, it's a native port. It's a native port. Wow. Wow, like, okay. How, okay, what kind of wizardry, no pun intended, is WB Games pulling to get this running on the Switch? Because, because like, based on the footage and all that, and everything they showed off today, or, you know, the show or whatever, it... It's hell ambitious, you know. Some things looked off, you know. Obviously, it's still a work in progress. Some things, you know, can look rough and all that. But still, what kind of wizardry are they pulled off to get this running on Switch? Because, because as you know, there's been a couple of cloud games coming out recently. This was the last thing I ever expected to come to Switch. A ambitious, you know, brand new AAA open world RPG. From WB Games, and they're putting other publishers, like a certain Japanese one, to shame, as I will show you, because you, because you know Kingdom Hearts, Kingdom Hearts, you know, PlayStation Two games, Kingdom Hearts Three, I can understand because that's you know a more modern, you know, Kingdom Hearts game, but really, Square, really, like really, you can't get like essentially what were PlayStation Two games running on the Switch natively. I already, I already know why. And I'm not a JRPG fan, but I gotta call it out. It's BS that Square pulled that. Like you telling me you can suck up, pucker up the money to uh, do a native version, like WB Games here is doing. So like, wow. So what do I think of the game overall? Ooh, what platform am I gonna get it on? Ooh, for me, uh, probably the Xbox, cause maybe I'll get, maybe I'll buy it on Switch later. Maybe just out of curiosity for the you know performance of it. Due to, due to the nature of what the game is. Oh, and I didn't mention this, but the, some of the locations include obviously Hogwarts itself, but also the some new ones too, you know, like Forbidden Forest, you know, Hogsmeade, and they tease seemingly new locations set to, too. You know, as you try to, you know, go through your class, you know, your year at Hogwarts, apparently you're going to be a fifth year, so that's actually interesting that you're gonna be going in like over halfway into your Hogwarts career, you know, when you start from the get go. That's pretty awesome, if I say so myself. So that's definitely gonna be interesting. So you got a lot of catching up to do. So again, like they've dealt, they're dealt, it seems like a lot of love and care was put into this game. Like you could definitely tell. I think you could definitely tell that the developers are really passionate about this universe, just by you know the creator with Horhold. You know, I'm not going to say here for obvious reason, but... Anyway, so what do you guys think of it? Are you going to pick this up? What house are you, what house are you going to pick? And what platform are you going to pick this? Pick up this game? For me, probably Gryffindor or Slytherin, like I said before. And for the platform, probably Xbox, probably. You know, maybe a, maybe the Switch version, you know, may, later on, maybe. But time will tell. I'll, I'm very curious about how performance is on the, uh, on the Switch version, for obvious reasons. So, I'm glad that... I'm actually glad for preservation reasons that WB isn't slacking with the Switch version instead of just doing the cloud version like like a lot of the other uh, big AAA publishers are doing. And they're actually doing the right thing and making it native. And a physical version too on top of that. So that's going to be very interesting to see the file size, file size on this game with how ambitious it is. And hopefully it's not a bucky broken mess 
when it comes out, as we've seen with other games, you know, Battlefield 2042 and Cyberpunk, I'm looking at you. Although Cyberpunk 2077 is a lot better. No, I will say that. I'll give, I'll give credit where credit's due there. But anyway, that's it for this video. Let me know what you think, what, what we saw today. And like I said, let me know if you're going to get the game and what house you're going to pick when, when you get it. So, so anyway, this is Halo Gaming signing out. And have a great one.